I'm Justin Nash. And I'm Stephanie Fowler. We won the same prize 20 years apart, but we're here together now to tell you... It's showtime. The 2021 Sophie Kerr Prize is Justin Nash. And there you have it. This year's winner of the Sophie Kerr Prize. And Jimmy, we are so proud to say these next five words. You ready? Ready. He's one of ours, Del Marva. I had to count the words to make sure we hit five. But anyway, uh, he absolutely is Justin Nash here with us, a Smyrna High School graduate. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to be here. Congratulations, Congratulations. to you. you. Yeah. What was it like when they called your name? A little horrifying, honestly. <laughs> um, it was incredible and a little numbing, um, but it was it was an amazing experience in the week leading up to be among the other finalists who are some of my best friends. And you have that realization in that moment that you've won and that also these other people who you love so dearly haven't won. Yeah. And it just, I mean, it sort of made I my year just, and made my college experience. Wow. Um, but then you have to figure out what you're gonna do in those next 30 seconds. And <laughs> a lot of things ran through my head, but I think I handled it well and I'm here now. Yeah, and it speaks to your character that you invited all yeah. of those friends, uh, all of those who were running for it, up to the podium with you. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why did you do it? I just, I think that good writing and good art requires a good audience and you need people who will criticize you and push you and help you make the best things. And those other finalists, the other people that were on that stage with me were my audience and were my support group all throughout college. And I just don't think that I would have been on that stage if it weren't for those other people. And I just felt like they deserved that recognition. Yeah, just pushing you to get there. So tell us a little bit more about the Sophie Kerr Prize. Tell us what it is, why it was so important to you. Yes, so the Sophie Kerr Prize um, was established by Sophie Kerr, who was a writer in the early 20th century. And she left part of her estate to the college to establish the prize. And I believe the language in the will states that it goes to the graduating senior of Washington College with the greatest promise in the field of literary endeavor. So essentially the way that I look at the prize is as a vote of confidence really that sort of says not necessarily judging on excellence or merit in the moment, though certainly the committee looks for those things, but that in the future you will have an excellent career in arts and letters and that they believe going forward you'll be able to make some kind of difference in the arts. And it's quite a price, $65,000. And some change, and yeah. And some change. <laughs> <laughs> You've always known that you wanted to be a writer, haven't you? I have. I did it in secret for a really long time and was shy about it and didn't show anyone, but it was always sort of that thing in the back of my head when I was considering med school or law school or whatever else anyone had told me that I needed to do to make money. Um, and I always just knew that I was going to try to make writing work somehow, and then it's finally become the main thing instead of the second thing. So is there any particular genre or direction you take when you write? Uh, I write poems, mostly. Uh, I also write essays, sort of personal essays, memoir pieces. And recently I've started doing fiction, so I'm kind of across the board. Yeah. Um, but poems are kind of my mainstay and where I feel most comfortable. So what's next? Who? what's next? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's. I feel like it's a question that gets thrown around so often, um, having just graduated college regardless, and then mm -hmm. also having this huge sum of money that everyone thinks I have to do something with right away. Um, and I'm taking a gap year, and I'll be applying to graduate school for an MFA in poetry in the fall. Um, and we'll see where life takes me from there. That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, a little birdie told us that you were kind of excited about meeting somebody else that's here with us today. I was. <laughs> that would be Stephanie Fowler, who won the Sophie Kerr Prize 20 years before I did in 2001. Um, I just think the prize has this really amazing legacy. And there are so many finalists and winners that I've met over the years who are all incredible writers and artists. And I've had the sort of honor of becoming friends with many of them before winning the prize and now we have this sort of extra connection, and so it's just always great to meet another winner and another person who's been through this thing. Oh, wow. Well, congratulations, yes. Justin Nash, the Thank 2021 you. Sophie Kerr Prize winner. We look forward to seeing what you put out. In Me the too. Yeah. <laughs>